Welcome back to the five. So, a penny for your thoughts or a lunch for a new idea. That's what one Ohio State representative is offering. Marlene Anielski has started a contest where she's offering a free lunch to the constituent that proposes the best idea that can turn into legislation. I think it's a good idea. I don't think it's laziness because it's representative democracy. What do you think? My idea I would propose is that any politician who proposes an idea in which they use their constituents for ideas in, 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 in exchange for a free lunch should be imprisoned. Who's on first? Uh, what? Right. <laughs> I don't, what would you? I don't know. I kind of like this. I like Why it not? as long as the one uh, law that they propose is the fair tax. You guys talked about flat tax on income. How about a fair tax eliminate all IRS and eliminate 76,000 pages maybe some of IRS, okay, but there should, IRS There documents. ought to be a law against this next story, which is... Well, hold on, wait a minute. Somebody should... Well, this one was hired to do her job to make she laws. Is, she's a Unless representative... Unless they had a law to outlaw Eric, would be... I don't want it. All right. Well, it's, it's representative <laughs> democracy and citizen participation. Democracy is a participation sport. And I like it. She's but lazy. I think that there ought to be a law against this next story that I really wanted to talk about, which is that the TSA yesterday caught a woman smuggling a bird in at LAX, um, Los Angeles Airport. And a man had snakes in his pants. These are endangered species that they're trying to bring into the country, I guess, to sell for money. Um, Andrea, does it freak you out? Yeah, getting on a plane freaks me out. So getting on a plane with a snake in my pants really freaks me out. Mom, don't, don't even go there. Don't even go there. I'm stopping you from uh, okay, this. Is a serious so like you're we make fun of the TSA a lot here, but look at the things that we make them do. Like these are the things that they find in people. What is pants. that thing, Bob? This it's has settled. happened to you, but it wasn't on a plane. No, it wasn't. But listen, <laughs> let me tell you something. If somebody got on a plane with a snake next to me, I'd kill the son of a bitch. I mean, I hate snakes, and, I, and the idea that they would do this is terrible. These are endangered species. Did you see that? That was a sock. Someone st stuck a bird in the tube sock Apparently and then they, buried it. You can make a lot of money off this. This Look is pure that's capitalism. A big deal. Yeah. Yeah. It's a big deal. Yeah. I mean, Snakes on a plane. Well, you know, obviously, it was like a. I mean, this is you know, dope in people's guts, but then I mean, this is like, maybe they got dope in the in the birds. Oh, there you go. We, we, should, we should check it out. Now we want to like leave turducken. you tonight. We promised on Twitter that we would show you this really sweet video from Hurricane Irene, where something good happened. These are little kittens oh. that were saved by a young girl and in, in Goshen County and uh, the firefighters are helping make sure that they're okay look how tiny they are do you, do you want one Bob are you kidding I hope they're not mentally ill no I All think right. that's a lovely that's it for the story. five we're gonna have to go thanks for watching we'll kidding. see you I mean, <laughs> tomorrow bye-bye